So our last topic is while the two major political parties in Maryland are jockeying for position, uh, the Maryland Citizens Redistricting Commission, which was created by Governor Larry Hogan, will hold its first virtual public meeting next Wednesday. This is the reason I'm bringing this up, boys and girls. The meeting is next Wednesday, July 21st, for residents of Montgomery County. Mark, what's the purpose of this meeting? Well, one of the things that folks should strive for in redistricting is being able to include communities together, compactness and, and the areas of interest that are shared uh, to be included in the same district. And so in particular, for example, this is an opportunity for communities to express their desire to be included all in the same district and uh, to have their interests uh, all uh, represented by a, you know, a one particular representative. Uh, so hearing that information is going to be very useful for the process. Well, the Democrats also have they have a, a committee formed to, to counterbalance the governor's committee. And Mike, ultimately, it comes down to who's got the juice, who's got the power and the upper hand to create the plan, redistricting plan. Is it the governor or the House of Delegates? Well, the thing that's exciting to me is for the first time, or at least for in a while, we actually get both sides have to have a conversation. The last time we did this, there was a Democratic House and there was a Democratic governor. And so the Democrats passed what they thought was good for the Democrats. And we know that um, redistricting is the tr one of the true, pr truly political activities that occurs. And the fact that now you have to have the governor and the House having a conversation, I think is a good thing and allows us to move forward to something that may not be quite as gerrymandered as we've seen. Maryland has some of the most gerrymandered districts in the, in the, in the country, and I think we need to address that. Um, and so I, I'm excited, and I think if you look at some of the challenges we have in, as it relates to partis partisanship in this country, the gerrymandering that has gone on is a, is a significant contributing factor. It's not the only thing, but it certainly is contributing to that. So I'm hopeful we get to a better place. Well, you know, I love telling this story. I was asked to give a speech up in Carroll County, and I mentioned the fact that uh, uh, my congressman is uh, Jamie Raskin, and even though I've I've met Congressman Raskin when he was a delegate. It was through other means, but I didn't think he even knew where Potomac actually was. And I was shocked to find <laughs> that he was the congressman for that jurisdiction, that part of Carroll County at the same time. All, so, I mean, the, all the way to the Pennsylvania border, that so, district goes. No, it's, well, so, same, the same um, thing with David, so with Congressman Trone's district, comes straight yeah. from the river all the way, follows all the way, the river all the way up to Western Maryland. It's yeah, crazy. Well, um, I, I think, and I hope that I guess that you know something comes more rational out of this, that more resembles the the county lines and and natural breaks in constituency uh, that than we've seen in seen in the past. I'm sure. I'm sure, I don't know if we're ever going to get there though. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. So I uh, I would like everybody to stay tuned when we come back for parting shots. Yeah.